Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the five fragrances in my collection that my husband actually likes. So if you'd like to know what those are, then keep watching. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because if you guys are familiar with my channel, please excuse the light durations and you know, it's the lighting in here is very poor. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know my husband is not a fan of fragrance whatsoever. In any case, he does not like it, does not like me wearing it, but he is very supportive and he lets me wear it. And by letting me, he's like, he doesn't complain. I mean, he complains, but he's not like, he'll get me fragrances, he'll support me, you know, he doesn't like belittle me or, you know, make me feel bad about, you know collecting he just doesn't like it but he is very supportive and very wonderful when it comes to my fragrance collecting though he wishes i probably collected other things um when it comes down to fragrance he's pretty awesome with it so that being said there are some fragrances in my collection that he can put up with there are some fragrances in my collection that he doesn't like but these are actually five fragrances that he likes one of them he's described as impeccable and one he's actually worn before too so you guys always want to know a little bit more about him you guys usually ask about him when is he going to be on my channel i keep asking him i asked him if he wanted to be a part of this video he said absolutely not so i don't know what i'd have to do to get him on my channel i think that he'll just probably remain a secret for a while but I did, you know, show him these and talk to him about these and he's like, yeah, that's it. So these are the ones. I'm going to share the three uh, that he likes and then the last two I'm going to talk about are going to be the one that is his favorite and then the one that he wears himself. So let's get into it. Now, if you guys don't know, my husband actually doesn't like powdery notes. He really doesn't like anything that's overtly musky and he pretty much, if he could pick one fragrance house that he enjoys, he really enjoys Demeter. He likes Demeter a lot. Uh, so the first three are not Demeter, but there is a Demeter in here. And the first one, uh, the two of these actually, I was surprised that he liked. So this one was the most surprising actually. This is a zoologist bat. He actually loves this loves this a lot i don't know why i love it do not get me wrong i love this fragrance but this is animalic it's vegetal it's earthy it's damp it's a little bit musky and i didn't think he'd like it and i wore this one day and i kind of sometimes like you know like prank him i'm like smell this and i'll wear something really crazy and he's like ah and other times he's like eh. but he was like no that's nice and i was like whoa and the reason why is this is one of those fragrances that a lot of people think is a little bit harder to wear from Zoologist. Now, I love Victor's creations. I love what he does. And that is definitely one of my favorite fragrances from Zoologist. So I was really excited that this isn't one of the fragrances that had to be on my do not wear around my husband ever list. It is on my I can wear this around my husband list. So I do wear this a lot more frequently than I normally would wear other fragrances because he does enjoy it. And I was very taken aback that he did. So that is one of the fragrances of one of the only fragrances from my collection that my husband actually enjoys. This next one is one I was also a little baffled that he enjoyed and I actually had sprayed this. I walked into the other room and he came into this room right here because to go up the stairs that's where you go to our bedroom. And he walked in here to go, I think, take a nap or go upstairs and do something. And I had just sprayed this and I was out there doing some work. And he kind of walked out and he looked at me and he's like, you, what did you spray in there? And usually it's, I hate it. And he's like, I really like that. What is that? And I was like, oh, well, it's Black Saffron from Bayredo. He actually really freakishly loved this fragrance. And every time I wear it, I get compliments from him. I don't even tell him I'm wearing it. He's like, I like what you're wearing today. You should wear that more often rather than that other crap you wear. And this is one of the fragrances that he just really genuinely loves. And I'm so happy because I love this too. But it's really beautiful. I don't know what about this he likes though, because there's other fragrances to me that resemble black saffron, like not actual black saffron, but that he just doesn't like. But I don't know, maybe it's just the, I, I can't even think of what note in here he would like. This seems like something he'd hate, but he loves it. Like legitimately has used the word love. And every time I wear it, or just about every time I wear it, he compliments me on it. So 
This is one my husband loves, is Black Saffron from Bayerito. Very excited, I get very excited when he likes something. The next one is one of his favorite smells is rose. He loves roses, he loves it when I smell like roses. And this one was one that is an oud rose. He actually likes oud too. When, uh, he likes um, oud espana. I know I keep mispronouncing that from the Dior Privé. He really liked that one, but that's not in my collection, thus it's not on my list. And usually with oud fragrances, he likes it when they're a little bit more skanky and a little bit more barnyard. I know, you'd think someone who doesn't like fragrances, who has a hard time smelling things where it tickles their nose, they would want to stay away from those types of fragrances, but he actually really likes them. Which is why I was kind of intrigued that he liked this one, because this is more of, I think, an easily more wearable oud scent. But because it has rose in it and it's a little bit on the sweeter side, I think this is why he really likes it. And it's from Mikaleth and it's Royal Rose Oud. Now I love this fragrance. This is such a beautiful, delicious, syrupy oud, uh, oud fragrance and the rose is beautiful. I think all of the um, notes in this are in perfect balance and I absolutely adore this scent. I don't wear it very often because for some reason on my skin, it's a tad heavier for my environment. Um, it just pulls a little bit heavier and a little bit stickier than I want in uh, humidity, even though this is the type of way I want to smell. But whenever I wear this, he gets so excited. He's like, I really like what you're wearing. You smell really good. You need to wear that more often. And he just really loves the rose in this and the sweetness. And he actually really likes the woody oud note in this. It's absolutely, I'm baffled that he likes this scent because I didn't think he'd like it because it's a little bit too gourmand, because it's a little bit too syrupy. And he actually doesn't really like those too much. He'd prefer more of a true rose scent but I think with the oud in here because he does like that element that he really enjoys this fragrance a lot so this is another one of my husband's fragrances from my collection or favorite fragrances from my collection all right so I'm going to show you guys uh, one of his favorite fragrances and one that he wears very rarely and it is from Demeter and it is mauled cider now this is one of my favorite fragrances too like favorite fragrances this smells like holidays at our house because I mull cider like from September until like January. I'm constantly mulling cider. And so this is what my house smells like and it just smells so good. And my husband loves that smell. He loves mulled cider. And so he really loves this scent. He bought me this big bottle cause he bought me a little sample of it and I wore through it and he's like, well, we gotta get you one. And I thought he was gonna get me one of the little ones but he actually bought me a big one. Little did I know that he was actually gonna be wearing this too. Now, he actually doesn't like smells. He wears, he actually has a special soap that he uses that is unscented that actually helps, it's gonna sound crazy, it's called Mother Dirt. And what it does is it actually helps grow his, uh, the good bacteria colonies on his body. So he doesn't have any body odor, he, he doesn't. He smells like a normal human being. You know, he uses unscented deodorant, we use unscented stuff in our, you know, in our, you know, detergent. And he he doesn't have a scent. He has, she just smells like a human being. He smells like good bacteria. I know it's weird. If you guys want me to talk about Mother Dirt, I'd be more than happy to. I used it for a long time, but I realized that my facial uh, skincare routine and stuff didn't work with it, so I stopped. But if you guys wanted more information on Mother Dirt, I'd be more than happy to talk about it. My husband's been using it for years. Um, and tell you guys like, you know, what to expect and things like that. But sometimes, sometimes he wants to just, if we're going someplace fancy, like sometimes, or like he feels like he needs to have a scent. Very rarely, maybe three times a year. Like very rare, and even then I'm still surprised. I actually, um, Tina the Critical Virgo and our friend Raphael and Max, like they've all met my husband, you know, they hear me talk. And one day, the first time he wore this, I messaged them on Facebook, cause we, we constantly talk on Facebook. And I'm like, oh my God, you guys don't believe it. The, the, the world's ended. And they're like, what? And I'm like, John put on a perfume. And they're like, oh my God, what was it? And I was like, malt cider from Demeter. And they're like, oh, out, out of all of yours? And I'm like, yeah. But he will, he's so cute too. He'll go like this. I'm not, you know, I'm not wearing anything now. So he'll go like this. So he'll go like this. He goes like, yeah, puts his arm all the way out, literally. And he goes, spritz, and he goes. 
And that's how he does it. It's so cute. It's so cute. But this is the fragrance he wears. This is the fragrance he loves. He loves me wearing this fragrance. I made quite a dent in it considering I've had it, you know, for a few months. But considering how many fragrances I have and how many fragrances that I wear through, that is actually a considerable dent for me. So this is the fragrance that he wears and one of his absolute favorites. This next one you guys might know because I do talk about it a lot. But when my husband and I went on our first date, we'd known each other for probably like 10 years before we started dating but we went on our first date and it was pretty much the um the food and wine festival in Orlando and I was wearing this fragrance earlier that day this is when I had broken up with my long-term boyfriend before and I had treated myself to a bottle of perfume that I'd wanted for a while just to kind of like start anew and so I wore it that morning and I was really sweaty because it was really hot and they had this most amazing fragrance pavilion in Epcot. If you guys are in any of the Epcots, go to the World Showcase, go around Italy and Paris and England. They have an amazing, amazing fragrance selection. It is so fun to sample and sniff around the world like that. I love doing it. And next time I go, I'm going to take you guys with me and show you guys all the pavilions and stuff. So, and I'm actually gonna see if there's a way that I can get special permission to interview a few people too, because sometimes there's key people there, like noses and stuff. I'm, I'm planning something really cool for that, but that'll be a few months in the making. Anyway, anyway, this pavilion had this fragrance and I went in and I asked if I could reapply because I was wearing it earlier and she was like, yes. So I applied it, I went out. My husband was like getting a drink or doing something. He comes up behind me, he gives me a hug from behind and he looks at me and he's like, someone's wearing an impeccable fragrance. And I was like, it's me. And it was from Bulgari and it's Rose Essential. And this is still a fragrance that he loves. If he goes out of town, he's out of town a lot more frequently than he used to be. So he'll go out of town for a week or two for work and I will, when he, the day he comes back, I'll wear this and he's like, oh, you smell really nice. Like, I like to wear this um, on special occasions if we're going out to do something special, if we're going on a date, you know, just if I really miss him and I just kind of like want to wear it to uh, remember that happy time because that was the time where my life really started becoming amazing because of him. Uh, this fragrance just means so, so much to me, and it is one of his favorite fragrances. It's the only fragrance he's called Impeccable, and it's Rose Essential from Bulgari. And this fragrance will always be in my collection. And if we ever got a divorce, please never, but, you know, who knows what the future has. This would be one of the fragrances I would never be able to wear again because of that. But it is so beautiful, and he does love it so much. So that's it, guys. Those are the five fragrances in my collection that my husband actually loves. And I'm saying love, not put up with, because he puts up with a lot. <laughs> and he's really wonderful about this passion and this hobby. So I really have to give him a lot of props. He's super supportive um, about everything. I know he wishes I didn't have this YouTube channel. I know that he wishes that I collected something else because he really hates it, but he is really supportive and really wonderful. And I know that you guys ask a lot of questions about it. So I thought this video might be fun. So yeah. Those are the five fragrances in my collection. And I'm sorry he could not be here, but he refuses. <laughs> like I've been trying for days, I've been planning this video for a while. And he's just like, nope, no, no. <laughs> so you'll have to excuse my husband for being a brat, but you know, I'm going to not try to put him in a situation he's uncomfortable with. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any experience with any of these fragrances, I'd love to know what you think. Do you guys have a favorite fragrance that your significant other really loves? Do you have a fragrance, fragrance that your significant other, did I say sniff, ick, sniff, sniffy? I don't know. <laughs> that your significant other loves or hates? I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So we'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.